many storm chasers took to the Texas Panhandle on May 17th. Chasers on the Lubbock Storm were greeted with great structure like this bell-shaped updraft. And of course, some big hail. But a danger existed to many chasers who had left the main roads. A situation I am finding out that a lot of my chaser friends are not 100% sure on the proper way to handle. Let me explain. I was heading southbound on a dirt road west of Wolfram, Texas, or just southwest of the city of Lubbock. This is my dash cam footage as I headed south. The white car and I leapfrogged as we made stops. At this particular moment, they were ahead of me. As you can see, the speeds are around 40 to 45 miles per hour. Let me stop right here. The line of trees on the right are used for erosion mitigation. This is a result of the Dust Bowl era of the 1920s. There is also a cross street that is literally invisible right along there. Let's continue. I bet you were just as surprised as I was. This could have happened to any of us. As you can see, the driver of the truck and I both took off running after the white car. Let's watch this again in slow motion. As you can see, the Ford Ranger impacts the front right of the white car, which I believe was a Nissan Sentra. Unfortunately, the passenger, a female in the white Sentra, was injured, although the injuries were not very critical. They were complaining of chest pains and difficulty breathing, which were probably uh, related to a rib break. So which driver was at fault? Well, according to the Texas DPS officer on scene, both drivers were at fault, and I believe both drivers were cited, although I'm not 100% sure of that. So, how do you deal with an uncontrolled intersection like this? Well, if you're like me, you may have had driver's ed highly focused on an urban setting, since uncontrolled intersections are not really a thing in Michigan. According to the Texas DPS officer on scene yesterday, both parties are expected to yield. Typically, the car on the right, hence the term right of way, would go, but it's really up to both drivers to proceed through the uncontrolled intersection safely. That means you are responsible for your own car and getting through that intersection without hitting someone else. The driver of the white Sintra actually made the comment to me that he had considered letting me pass him. This could have easily have been me, and that's really the problem. I never realized how fast something like this could happen until I saw it with my own two eyes. Neither driver had any time to react, it was just impact. And while we can't really forecast the future, and that includes weather and driving, uh, we can do our best to try and make these roads a little bit safer. Uh, so anyways, thank you for coming to my TED Talk, and stay safe out there everyone.